As the sun dipped below the horizon in the tranquil forest, David came upon a heart-wrenching scene, a bear, tears streaming down its furry cheeks, stood before him, seemingly pleading for help. David's heart raced as he tried to comprehend the distress evident in the bear's demeanor, while he was no stranger to encountering bears during his extensive hikes on these familiar trails, this encounter was notably different. The bear exhibited no signs of aggression, nor did it attempt to flee. Initially, David reacted instinctively, trying to make himself appear larger and shouting in an effort to scare the bear away, but this tactic failed to have any effect. Instead, the bear began to cautiously approach him, caught off guard and unsure of how to respond appropriately, David remained motionless, aware that running might exacerbate the situation, the bear advanced with a measured caution, clearly indicating no intent to harm David, this was an unusual encounter. Even by David's seasoned standards, which included many dangers on his hikes but none quite like this, as the bear gently sniffed his jeans, shoes, and even his hands, David realized that any abrupt movement on his part could provoke a dangerous reaction, his heart pounded as the bear, after thoroughly inspecting him, stepped back and rose onto its hind legs, the bear emitted a soft growl, a quiet sound that seemed more like a plea for attention than a threat in that moment. David understood that the bear was indeed seeking assistance, uncertain of how to communicate his willingness to help without causing alarm, David cautiously mirrored the bear's earlier actions by extending his hands and pretending to sniff around, hoping to convey his friendly intentions. To his surprise, this gesture was successful. The bear allowed David to draw near. After David completed his mimicking act, the bear returned to all fours and began to walk away. David sighed. Wondering if his mimicry had been all that was needed, yet, after a few steps, the bear paused looked back, and emitted a loud growl, signaling for David to follow. Now convinced that the bear wanted him to come along, David complied and began to follow the bear deeper into the forest. As he followed, David was beset with trepidation. What if the bear was luring him into a trap? His mind raced with potential perilous outcomes, causing him to feel dizzy with anxiety. The raft, assembled crudely with logs and vines, bobbed gently on the turbulent water's edge, he realized that this might be his only chance to understand the bear's intentions and potentially assist with whatever was calling from the other side. Despite the bear's uneasy behavior, David felt a strong compulsion to help. He examined the raft closely, assessing its sturdiness. It seemed capable of holding his weight, but the swift current posed a significant risk. He knew that crossing the swollen river could be dangerous, yet the persistent noises from the opposite bank urged him to act, taking a deep breath to steady his nerves. David decided to trust the bear's mysterious guidance. With cautious steps, he positioned himself on the raft, using a long stick as a makeshift paddle. The bear watched intently, its growls subsiding into low grumbles, as if understanding the gravity of the moment, as David paddled across the rushing river. The sound became clearer, it was not the cry of a bear cub, but rather the desperate squawks of a bird, reaching the other side. He discovered a large bird of prey, its wing entangled in a mesh of brambles and fishing line. It was this creature the bear had heard, its cries echoing across the river, mistaken from afar for a cub in distress. With care, David freed the bird, marveling at the unexpected turn of events that had led him here. Guided by a bear and driven by his own resolve not to turn away from a creature in need, the bird, once liberated, took to the skies with a triumphant screech, leaving David to reflect on the unlikely alliance he had formed with the bear. As he made his way back across the river, the bear still stood by the bank, watching. Upon his return, it seemed as if a mutual respect had been established. The bear gave a final nod-like gesture before turning back into the forest leaving David to find his way back, enriched by the profound experience of interspecies empathy and the serendipitous adventure that had unfolded in the heart of the wild, as he observed his companion's adept movements, a renewed sense of respect and kinship grew within him, structured from a haphazard array of fallen trees and entwined vines, the makeshift bridge spanned a fiercely flowing river, standing at its precipice, 
David could not help but feel a surge of apprehension, the bear. Visibly uneasy and frequently peering back, nudged him towards the decision to cross, inhaling deeply to steady his nerves, David set a tentative foot on the bridge, each step was measured and cautious, his gaze fixed intently on the makeshift planks beneath him, testing their strength, the chilly air made the bear's breath visible, adding a ghostly rhythm to the tense crossing, with each groan of the timbers and shift of the vines, a wave of anxiety washed over David. He consciously avoided looking down at the churning waters below, focusing instead on the secure ground that awaited him, his fingers gripped the vines with a white-knuckled force, the coarse fibers biting into his skin, each cautious step was a reaffirmation of his commitment to help the bear and understand the urgency behind its actions, watching from the riverbank, the bear seemed to weigh its options, its hesitation palpable. It was torn between its fear of the precarious bridge and its apparent need for help, after a moment that seemed an eternity, the bear cautiously placed a paw on the bridge, testing the structure, despite a slight sway, the bridge held firm, encouraged by this, the bear began to follow David, its eyes fixed on him, seemingly drawing strength from his presence, reaching the opposite bank, David released a breath he hadn't realized he'd been holding. He watched as the bear too made it safely across, the relief evident in its eyes, a mirror to David's own emotions, for a brief, surreal moment, they stood together, man and bear, at the edge of the unknown, bonded by their shared experience, David's heart pounded, fueled not only by the physical exertion but by the profound realization of the journey that still lay ahead, now on the same side, the bear shook vigorously, as if to shed the fear from its fur. David looked on in awe as the bear then turned to give him a look that conveyed a near-human gratitude, there was a palpable sense of mutual understanding between them, a silent pact that they were now comrades in this venture, David followed as the bear led them deeper into the forest, stepping off the beaten path into a realm far removed from any he knew, guided by this most unlikely of guides, as they ventured further into the dense, verdant forest. David marveled at the bear's effortless navigation, a silent acknowledgement of the deep, instinctual bond they now shared. David moved through the dense woods, his footsteps hesitant and cautious, a stark contrast to the confident strides of the bear accompanying him. The ancient forest around them appeared untouched by human hands, its pristine beauty both awe-inspiring and intimidating, as David's sense of adventure mingled with a growing sense of anxiety. He realized he was venturing into a part of the wilderness that few had the privilege to explore. The trees, tall and imposing, seemed to swallow them whole, amplifying David's feeling of isolation from the world outside. His mind wavered between curiosity and concern as he tuned into the distant calls of unknown creatures and the soft whispering of the leaves. Each sound highlighted his vulnerability in this wild, untamed environment, despite his experience as a seasoned hiker. Traveling alongside the bear was like stepping into uncharted emotional and physical territories, their path was littered with obstacles, fallen logs obstructed their way, and thick vines hung low, David noticed animal tracks and markings on the trees, silent stories of the forest's inhabitants, this was a realm far removed from the manicured trails and clear signposts he was accustomed to, a domain where nature reigned supreme. David acknowledged his complete reliance on the bear's guidance. Each step forward was an act of faith in the instincts of his wild companion. He pondered the surreal nature of his circumstances. Following a bear into an uncharted forest seemed beyond reason, yet here he was, led by a creature that was both a guide and a mystery. The bear moved with purpose, its strides sure and knowing displaying an intimate familiarity with the landscape that only a true forest dweller could possess. David admired the bear's intuitive connection with the environment. Following it closely as a quiet observer in this extraordinary journey, curious about their final destination and the purpose behind this remarkable expedition, as twilight descended, the forest underwent a transformation, shadows lengthened, and the dense canopy above stole away the remaining daylight, David and the bear pressed on through the increasingly murky woods, the environment growing more foreboding with each step, David's senses heightened. 
acutely tuned to every rustle in the underbrush and every snap of a twig, the bear, undisturbed, navigated the dimming forest with confidence, the nocturnal chorus of the forest began to swell, mysterious calls and whispers emanating from unseen creatures, David strained his ears to identify the sounds, but many were unfamiliar, adding to the suspense of their twilight trek, the forest seemed to come alive, a hidden kingdom awakening as the traces of humanity faded away, in this foreign, moonlit world, David's dependence on the bear for guidance intensified, the solitude weighed heavily on him as he realized the full extent of their venture into the wild, far removed from any known path and enveloped by the overwhelming presence of nature, in the untamed expanse of the wilderness, David experienced a profound sense of disconnect from his everyday urban existence, the realization that he was completely isolated, with only a bear for company in this vast, wild space, was both exhilarating and intimidating, as a visitor in a domain ruled by ancient rhythms and enigmatic laws, David felt distinctly out of his element, illuminated only by the gentle moonlight while he kept a vigilant watch, as the night deepened, the forest around him transformed into a labyrinth of silvery shadows and subtle light, David remained on high alert, his eyes scanning the surroundings for any hint of movement or potential danger, the bear, appearing to sense David's unease, stayed close by, its large, imposing form provided a strangely comforting presence amidst the enveloping darkness, the cool, crisp air of the night was fragrant with the scents of pine and damp earth, enhancing the sense of wildness that enveloped them, throughout the night, the bear acted as a reassuring yet mysterious guardian in the vast wilderness, occasionally, it would lift its nose to sniff the air or turn its ears toward distant sounds, in these moments, the bear seemed to be listening to a language that David could not comprehend, a dialogue between the animal and the ancient forest it called home. As dawn approached, David stumbled upon a faded and torn piece of paper caught in the underbrush. It was a fragment of a circus poster, its once vibrant colors now muted by time and the elements, featuring the image of a dancing bear. The oddity of finding such an item in the middle of the wilderness sent a shiver down his spine serving as a stark reminder of humanity's reach and a whisper of a forgotten past in the heart of the forest, continuing their journey, David noticed unusual footprints in the soft earth, distinct from the typical tracks of forest animals, these prints were larger and had patterns he couldn't identify, the realization that they were on a path frequented by unknown creatures heightened his apprehension, the bear, undisturbed, followed the trail purposefully, as if recognizing the signs left by these mysterious travelers, further along the path, David encountered more signs of human activity, a length of frayed rope hung from a tree branch, and nearby lay a few scattered, rusted items that might once have been part of a tool or equipment, these remnants, seemingly abandoned and reclaimed by nature, hinted at a human presence that was both out of place and long gone, adding layers to the mystery surrounding their journey. Every new discovery seemed to deepen the enigma of their adventure, weaving a complex tapestry of nature and human influence that challenged David's understanding of the wild, and his place within it. In his journey through the woods, David meticulously assembled clues, piecing together a coherent narrative from seemingly unrelated elements, a torn circus poster, peculiar footprints, and various discarded items collectively hinted at a hidden narrative buried deep within the forest's embrace. With each step he took, David's curiosity and intrigue intensified, propelling him deeper into the mysterious wilderness, his mind buzzed with questions about the significance of these clues and their connection to the bear's urgent call for help as they ventured further, the items they encountered seemed to weave a forgotten tale of a bygone era. David envisioned a caravan of performers and animals, a traveling circus that had met its tragic end in this remote location. The possibility of what might have led to such remnants being left behind in this wild setting was both fascinating and unsettling, as he uncovered each clue, the urgency of the bear's mission and the purpose of their journey became increasingly clear, yet shrouded in mystery. Emerging from the dense forest, David stepped into a clearing that left him breathless, before him lay the ruins of an abandoned circus, the big top, once a beacon of joy and wonder, 
now stood tattered and fading, its once vibrant stripes bleached by the sun and weather, scattered around were rusting carnival rides and dilapidated concession stands, together painting a haunting scene. It was as if David had walked into a forgotten memory, a relic of joy now surrendered to the wilderness. As he approached, his eyes were drawn to a series of cages, inside, he saw animals, some pacing restlessly, others lying still, resigned to their fate, their eyes spoke of neglect and a deep longing for freedom, the sight of these creatures, so out of place in this desolate setting, tugged at David's heart, the reality of their plight, trapped and abandoned in this forsaken circus, served as a stark reminder of the cruelty they had endured, the abandoned circus was a place of stark contrasts. Faded posters and remnants of colorful decorations hinted at a time filled with laughter and applause, now replaced by an overwhelming silence and sadness. It was as if the joy once shared here had been abruptly silenced, leaving behind only the echoes of its former existence. David felt a profound sense of melancholy as he walked among the relics, each step echoing through the abandoned grounds. As they roamed the circus, he noticed a change in the bear's demeanor. It moved with a sense of familiarity, its nostrils flaring as it sniffed at the air, seemingly recognizing the scents and sights of a past life. This poignant return to a place once filled with life now abandoned and silent, underscored the transient nature of joy and the lasting impact of neglect. Overcome with a profound sense of sorrow and anger, he moved from one dilapidated enclosure to the next. Each animal he encountered returned his gaze their eyes mirroring a blend of fear and despair, the atmosphere was heavy with a tangible sense of desolation that seemed to saturate the very air, as David observed the bear, he understood that it had a deep-seated connection with this place, the bear navigated the ruins with a sense of familiarity, pausing at certain spots to sniff and make soft noises, as though it was trying to recall or find something it had once known. It became increasingly clear to David that this bear had likely been a star performer in its past life within the circus, now reduced to a mere shadow of its former glory. The realization of the bear's past and the observable evidence of its behavior filled David with an intense heartache for it and the other animals suffering in the abandoned site. It was a poignant story of neglect and melancholy. A once thriving circus had now left its performers, both human and animal. To languish in obscurity and neglect, the stark difference between the bear's newfound semblance of freedom and its previous life of captivity was both stark and poignant, eliciting a deep empathy from David for these forsaken creatures amidst the circus ruins. Amidst these ruins, the stark contrast between the natural beauty of the enveloping forest and the grim reality of the man-made structures was striking. The forest symbolized life and renewal. Whereas the circus stood as a testament to neglect and decay, this juxtaposition served as a poignant reminder of the impact of human actions on the natural world. Moved by a deep sense of responsibility and compassion, David felt compelled to take action. He vowed to advocate for the welfare of these animals, ensuring that their plight was heard and addressed. His encounter with the bear and the desolate circus had ignited a fervent desire to help these animals find a life beyond the confines of their abandoned cages, hoping to restore some semblance of dignity and peace to their lives. Throughout the night, David's thoughts were consumed with the plight of these creatures, each one having suffered at the hands of neglect and cruelty. The cool air of the forest night whispered around him, intensifying his resolve. David's heart sank with each hour that passed without the sound of rescue vehicles. He understood all too well the logistical challenges of reaching such a remote location, but the silence of the night seemed to echo his fears that help might not arrive in time. The night was long and filled with restless anticipation, as he sat by the makeshift fire he had managed to keep alive. His eyes frequently darted to the shadows beyond the firelight where the animals were kept. Their occasional rustles and soft noises were the only signs of life in the oppressive silence of their captivity. As dawn approached, the first signs of light filtered through the trees, casting long shadows and bringing a renewed sense of hope. David's vigilance never waned, he was determined not to let these animals down. His makeshift shelter provided little comfort against the chill, but his determination kept him alert. 
he was prepared to do whatever it took to ensure the rescue team could navigate the last hurdles of reaching this secluded forest enclave. Finally, as the morning rays strengthened, the distant sound of vehicles broke through the quiet forest atmosphere. Relief flooded David as he stood up, stretching his cramped limbs. The sound grew louder, and soon, headlights pierced through the trees. The rescue team had arrived. Equipped with the necessary tools and expertise to handle and transport the animals safely, David quickly briefed the team on the situation, pointing out the various cages and the conditions of the animals. His detailed account from the night before had prepared the rescue team well, and they sprang into action with efficiency and care. As the animals were being attended to, David felt a profound sense of accomplishment and relief. He watched as each animal was carefully examined and treated with compassion, ready to be transported to a place where they could recover and live without fear or pain. The experience had left a lasting impression on David, reinforcing his commitment to animal welfare. He knew he would continue to advocate for those without a voice, driven by the memories of that long, desperate night and the triumphant dawn that followed, throughout the long, shadowy hours of the night. David stood as a steadfast guardian in the darkness, his thoughts oscillating between deep concern and unwavering resolve. Positioned strategically in the eerie quiet of the abandoned circus, he maintained a vigilant watch, his eyes darting between the rusted cages and the dense forest that enveloped the scene. Every rustle of leaves, every distant snap of a twig heightened his alertness, his senses finely tuned to the slightest disturbance. The moon bathed the clearing in a ghostly silver glow, casting long, twisted shadows that transformed the once lively circus into a spectral tableau. This chiaroscuro landscape, painted in silver and shadows, seemed almost surreal as David's guardianship continued through the night. The atmosphere was filled with an orchestral backdrop of forest sounds, blending with the restless noises of the caged animals, the soft growls of a bear, the fluttering of captive birds, and the anxious pacing of other creatures formed a haunting symphony that resonated through the cool air. David's empathy for these distressed animals was palpable. He could almost feel the waves of their anxiety piercing the night. This emotional connection reinforced his determination to protect them until help arrived. Every so often, he found his thoughts wandering to the bear's incredible journey and his own unexpected part in it. He marveled at the deep trust the bear had placed in him, a trust that now placed a heavy responsibility on his shoulders. This shared predicament forged a profound bond between them, rooted in empathy and mutual respect. As the night wore on, David's anticipation for the dawn grew. He imagined the arrival of the rescue team, the sound of approaching vehicles cutting through the stillness, the voices of rescuers breaking the silence. He envisioned the cages opening and the animals stepping out into freedom, a moment tinged with both hope and anxiety. The fear that help might not arrive in time battled with the hopeful promise that each new dawn brings, a beacon of hope against the enveloping darkness. Nearby, the bear remained a silent, watchful companion throughout the vigil. Their connection was palpable, an unspoken agreement of mutual support and understanding forged under the night's watchful eye. The bear's occasional glances and soft murmurs seemed to speak volumes, acknowledging their shared struggle and partnership in this ordeal. In these moments, David felt a kinship with the bear that transcended the boundaries of species. A camaraderie born of shared circumstances and a mutual desire for salvation as they both awaited the hopeful break of day, his deep engagement with the cause brought about significant strides in policy and heightened public understanding of the issues at hand. As the first rays of sunlight pierced through the forest canopy, the distant hum of approaching vehicles stirred a sense of anticipation. Before long, a fleet of rescue vehicles, escorted by dedicated wildlife conservationists and vigilant law enforcement officers, emerged. David's heart lifted as he welcomed the team, whose faces mirrored a mix of astonishment and resolve. Their arrival signified a turning point a beacon of hope for the beleaguered creatures he had vowed to protect. The team's initial assessment of the site uncovered the grim legacy of the abandoned circus. Tattered documents and old records scattered around the area chronicled years of illicit activities, from illegal wildlife trafficking to unauthorized animal performances. The bear, 
which had unwittingly led David to this hidden enclave, became the key to unraveling a mystery shrouded in the forest's shadows for too long. David threw himself into the heart of the rescue efforts, soothing the distressed animals with a gentle touch as they were liberated from their confines. He worked alongside the team, unlocking cages and administering first aid. Each animal, from the imposing bear to the tiniest monkey, received meticulous attention and care. Witnessing their first tentative steps into freedom, David felt a profound mix of sorrow and relief, marking a poignant victory over their somber histories. The revelation of the circus's abandonment and the ensuing rescue operation captured the attention of the media. Reporters swarmed the site their cameras capturing every moment of the dramatic rescue. Interviews with David and the rescue team shed light on the dire circumstances of the animals and the unlawful practices of the circus. The coverage ignited a rapid spread of the story, stirring public emotion and debate over wildlife rights and the dark realities of animal mistreatment. The saga of the Forgotten Circus not only highlighted the urgent need for more stringent wildlife protection laws but also sparked a broader dialogue on animal welfare and conservation ethics. The bear, a poignant figure of endurance, became emblematic of hope and resilience. The circus's legacy, marked by suffering and neglect, catalyzed a movement for reform, inspiring activism, and raising awareness in the ongoing fight for animal rights. In the wake of the rescue, David found his life's mission transformed. He became an outspoken advocate for animal rights, collaborating with conservation organizations to champion stronger protections and ethical treatment for wildlife. His journey from rescuer to advocate underscored a commitment to ensuring that such tragedies would never be repeated, driving forward the cause for which he had fought so passionately. David began to actively engage in public dialogues. Attending wildlife conservation events and forming partnerships with animal welfare organizations, his profound encounters with a bear and his efforts to rescue animals from a neglected circus reshaped him into a dedicated advocate for animals without a voice. His activism highlighted the often overlooked plight of animals held in captivity and subjected to mistreatment, thereby earning him a significant reputation within the animal rights community. David took every opportunity to share his extraordinary experiences widely. He conducted interviews, penned articles, and launched a blog that chronicled his evolution from an unsuspecting hiker to a passionate animal rights advocate. His narrative about the bear's guidance and the subsequent rescue of the circus animals not only captivated audiences but also heightened awareness about wildlife conservation and the harsh realities of animal captivity. His story served as a catalyst inspiring others to embrace a message of empathy and responsibility towards all living beings. In his moments of solitude, David contemplated the profound transformation instigated by his adventure. This experience fundamentally altered his perception of the natural world and his place within it. He pondered over his interactions with the bear, the bond they had forged, and the life-altering impact it had on him. This journey had not only liberated the animals but had also ignited a deeper appreciation for nature and its denizens in him, a transformative realization that would accompany him for life. David continued to make frequent visits to the forest, the very place where his life had taken an extraordinary detour. These visits served as a poignant reminder of his pledge to safeguard wildlife and conserve their habitats. He often strolled along the trails, hoping to catch a glimpse of the bear. Now a free inhabitant of the forest, each visit strengthened his resolve to act as a protector for nature, ensuring that the beauty and sanctity of the wild were upheld and cherished. To David, the bear had become a symbol of hope and transformation, it epitomized the strength and resilience of nature and its capacity to galvanize human action. Although he did not encounter the bear on every visit, its legacy continued to permeate his work and advocacy efforts, unwittingly. The bear had steered David onto a path of profound change and commitment to wildlife protection. His journey as a guardian and activist for the environment continued to evolve with each step he took in his unwavering commitment to protect and cherish the natural world around him. Do you have any thoughts after watching the above video? Tell us in the comments section. We'd like to hear your thoughts. That's for today's story and if you liked the video, 
please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.